So let's take a look at how we can create different swing patterns in Logic Pro X. I have this basic pattern already sequenced in. It's just the kick and snare part. All right, so let's add in a hi-hat part. I'm going to use the draw tool to add in three notes here. They're three sixteenth notes. And now I'm going to go to the functions menu here and enable time handles. Once you enable time handles and make a selection, we get these blue time handles. And when you click and drag here, you can squish the selection or even expand it. All right, so now I have three notes within the space of one beat. So we have an eighth triplet here. Let's delete this middle triplet. So we have a rest here. And let's just repeat this pattern. I'll hit Command R to repeat it. Let's hear this. All right, so that's the triplet swing. Let's mute this, put it aside, and let's now try a quintuplet swing. Again, add individual 16th notes, but I'll add five this time. Time handles are still on, so I'll make the selection, and this time I'm gonna squish it in. So we get five notes within the space of one beat. Now let's delete these two notes. So two rests here, and delete this note, and then select this entire beat, and Command R to repeat it. And let's hear the quintuplet swing pattern. Pretty cool. Again, I'm gonna mute this, put it aside. Let's do one more. Let's do a septuplet swing. Hopefully you get the idea by now. So just add as many 16th notes as you want. In this case, I need seven for septuplets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Select all the seven notes and then just squish it in within the space of one beat. And now let's delete three over here, keeping the first one and delete these last two. Okay, now select this entire beat, repeat it to hear a septuplet swing groove. And that's it. Pretty interesting to notice how that second beat gets gradually delayed. So this was the septuplet swing. Let's turn this off and compare it with the quintuplet swing. Subtle difference there. And lastly, the original eighth note triplet swing. All right, I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Logic Pro X.